In this quick video, I want to discuss something that's not very talked about that much, um, but is very critical, especially in your workflow and working with other people on projects. And that is file management, um, not only within Unreal, but also kind of in your own personal folder structure. So um, I'm just going to run through real quick the, the um, the folder structure that we use a lot at our studio. And then of course my personal, um, the way that I manage kind of my source files. So to start with, um, we'll kind of take a look at Unreal. And in there, um, I, will, I, I will say that a lot of the, the folder structures I'm recommending come from my experience in working with, um, at, at our studio, we actually develop a lot of content for the marketplace. And there are some very specific um, rules and regulations that Epic requires when you're uploading content, uh, but it's also something that they use in their own project. So um, nothing that's too terribly <laughs> difficult to do, uh, but is definitely very helpful. So if, if you kind of look at the content browser window here, uh, you can see that within um, our actual content, so that's our, our main folder within our project, we've got a subfolder, what I just called folder management. Um, and that could be a particular set of assets. It could be things like if you're working on environment assets um, per level, you could have, say, level one, and you could have all your assets in there. Um, it could be things like characters. Um, you know, it's, it's whatever you choose um, to set kind of in that, that secondary folder. Now, one thing I would recommend is that, you know, as you start kind of, uh, spending time deciding how you're going to structure your folders, um, try not to get too deep with them. You know, you don't want to have like a folder and a folder and a folder and a folder that just gets messy really quickly. So, you know, try to keep it as light as possible, but still, uh, well managed. So, uh, wherever you've got that root folder, uh, within there, these are kind of some, some typical folders that you'll set up. Um, no matter what. So we've got animation, we've got BP for blueprints, materials, meshes, and textures. All of those should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, but to kind of just unpack those a little bit and explain, so animations, anytime you're creating characters or stuff, um, this folder may be optional. You may not need it if it's just a static mesh, but that's where you throw all your animations. Keep it nice, keep it clean. The blueprints one, uh, that can go for any kind of blueprint, whether you're doing like a, like a prefab, whether you're doing like an animation blueprint, um, that helps just to consolidate everything within those. Um, you could also do a scripts folder as well if you're um, doing things outside of blueprints, um, but they have generally the same idea. Materials, pretty self-explanatory through all your materials there. Now, um, if you've if if you kind of know the workflow, I like I love working with master materials and sub materials. Now, if you've got a master material in your project that you're going to be using for multiple assets you might want to create a separate folder right underneath your content called masters and just throw all your masters in there. And then anytime you create a instance of that, throw your instance in this materials folder. So that way, you know, it's just for that particular asset and you're not adjusting the master and it keeps it nice, it keeps it clean. For your meshes, there are any of your static meshes in there. Um, again, for whatever's a part of that, uh, that particular, um, uh, that particular folder that the content that's going to go in there uh, and then finally with your textures throw all your textures in there um, again just for those assets and it makes things really easy so again the my recommendation for this actually comes from um, epics folder structure the way that if you're you know producing content for uh, the marketplace and then from my own personal experience having worked on on several unreal projects that this just make things really really easy um, i think one thing as well to kind of keep you know in mind is if anybody ever had to come behind you would they be able to find the assets quickly and intuitively uh, what i mean by that is if you're if you're just naming folders arbitrarily throwing things here and there um, it could be a mess and it could actually be um, <laughs> a detriment to your time on having to explain everything so um you can use this folder structure, um, choose if you want to or not, but again, this is, I highly recommend it. So, uh, and then let's jump over to the second portion of this, which is kind of on the left, which is uh, personal um, folder structure. So this this really has to do with your source assets, right? Like you, you create all these assets, you create variations, iterations of them, and then you import those into Unreal. So this is the source side of it, where you're creating all of your uncompressed files, your multiple save iterations. Um, and then this is something that I've I've come accustomed to over many, many years of doing uh, multiple projects for multiple clients. This is my personal choice. Now, um, to kind of just explain real quick, you can see that everything's broken, broken out per 
software piece. Uh, that thing just made that makes it easy uh, for me. Now within some of these folders, um, I do have what I consider import export folders. Um, so for example, um, you know, let's just say um, I'll take ZBrush for example. You know, a, a lot of the workflow that I do is, you know, I'll work within Maya and then I'll export my meshes out to bring them into ZBrush, scope them, and then export those high res. So within my ZBrush folder, I'll have my import. Um, now again, this is this is from the software side, so I'm importing things into ZBrush. So I would take something from Maya, export the file, say like an FBX, and then put it in that import folder. So when I'm in ZBrush and I go to import something, I look at my ZBrush folder in my import folder. I do all the work, and then I export that to the export folder in the ZBrush folder. Um, you know, so again, that's it's a real real easy breakup now. Um, I guess I will say one thing too. I've got the underscore Maya. Uh, that's personally because um, in Maya's workflow, you can set your project. I know in 3ds Max, you can do it as well. Um, I can't really speak to Blender or um, any of the others. I know you guys are gonna kill me if I, if I forgot one. Um, but I know within Maya, you've got a project window. And when you create that new project window, um, I always just place it in that root folder and call my folder Maya. Um, and that's where it'll create all of its, you know, separate little subfolders that go in that. So anything that has the underscore, I know I need to delete before I create that project or create something that has kind of a an automated workflow. Um, so again, on the left, that's my my personal, that's where I keep all my personal files. Um, and then on Unreal, that's what if I'm collaborating with other people or even I'm working on my own projects, um, that's the typical folder structure that I use. So again, nothing super fancy here, but I know it's it's not very well talked about and there's all different kinds of advice about folder structure, but um, hopefully this will help you. Again, this comes from many, many years on my end of, of trying to do things that makes it easy for me. Um, if I have to go back to a project I did three, four years ago and you know going, oh, where did I put that file? Um, but I use this folder structure makes it real easy for me to track things down. So uh, again, quick little tip. Hope you guys enjoy it.